Welcome to these additional episodes of Your Pregnancy Week by Week. We're going to provide information about things you may want to know about before baby's birth and in the weeks and months after baby arrives. Dr. Glade Curtis and I hope these discussions will help you and your partner settle into your new roles as parents. The information in these episodes is a general informative guide. None of the information we provide is intended to replace countermand or conflict with the advice given to you by your own doctors. Always follow his or her advice. Use the information you learn here as a starting place in your dialogue to help you put your life with baby and after pregnancy concerns, questions, or interests into words. Each episode will cover one topic. Our discussions are intended to help guide you through the many new experiences awaiting you. So let's get started on this discussion. We're going to talk about packing for the hospital. Packing for the hospital can be unnerving. You don't want to pack too early and have your suitcase staring at you, but you don't want to wait until the last minute either. If you do, there's a good chance you might forget something important. It's a good idea to pack about three or four weeks before your due date. I didn't. My little boy came three weeks early, and I didn't have anything packed. I had to leave everything up to my husband, even buying the clothes to bring our baby home in. I don't recommend this experience. Some things I wanted I didn't have, and there were things I didn't care about that he brought anyway. There are a lot of things to consider as you put together your list. Pack things you'll need during labor for you and your labor coach. Include items you and baby will need after delivery. And be sure to add personal articles for your hospital stay. These are a lot of things to think about, but here are some things women have told us they wanted to have at hand. At the top of your list should be your completed insurance or pre-registration forms and insurance card, and be sure to have your ID available too. For labor, you may want to have quite a few things with you, including a cotton nightgown or a t-shirt plus heavy socks, lip balm, lollipops, fruit drops, or breath spray books, magazines, an iPad or tablet, glasses if you wear contacts. You can't wear contacts during labor. Your phone to play music or to keep in touch with family and friends. Anything else to entertain you and your partner and labor coach, like electronics, games, or playing cards. You probably want to pack personal items for your hospital stay. These can include one or two nightgowns, bring a nursing gown if you're going to breastfeed, slippers with rubber soles, one long robe for walking in the halls, two bras, nursing bras if you breastfeed, breast pads for leaking breasts, three pairs of panties, toiletries and personal care items, loose fitting clothes for going home, sanitary pads if the hospital doesn't supply them, contact lenses and solution if you wear contacts. It's a good idea to include some things in your hospital kit for your partner or labor coach to help you both during labor. You might bring the following, a watch with a second hand, an item to use as a focal point, powder for massaging you during labor, a clean, unused paint roller or tennis ball for giving you a low back massage, music downloaded on your phone, a camera or cell phone for pictures, a cell phone charger, change for vending machines, snacks for your partner or labor coach. The hospital will probably supply most of what you need for baby, but you should have a few things available. Clothes for the trip home, including an undershirt, sleeper, outer clothes, a hat if it's cold outside, a couple of baby blankets, diapers if your hospital doesn't supply them. Be sure you have an approved infant car seat for baby's first ride. Many hospitals won't let you take your baby home without one. Dad should also pack for the hospital. Some essential items he might need include books or magazines, a change of clothes, something to sleep in, a camera, a charged battery, his cell phone and charger, a list of phone numbers, some snacks, insurance information, a comfortable pillow, and extra cash. Being prepared can help you relax as you await your big day. When you're all packed and ready to go, you won't have to think about much except getting to the hospital. Good luck!
If you'd like to read about baby, check out our book, Your Baby's First Year Week by Week. We cover many of these after-pregnancy subjects that deal with baby in the book. We know you're busy and you may not have much time to devote to reading, but our book covers baby's development and growth in a weekly format so you don't have to digest too much information all at once. Each week is a fairly quick read. If you want to find out more about this podcast, visit our website, yourpregnancyweekbyweek.com. If you're looking for something specific, check out the podcast topic lists on the website.